Hello, Stuart here at O'Reilly's. So, following on from my last video, we done a DPF clean on this uh, Ford Transit. After the DPF clean was done, it flagged up an EGR stuck fault. So, we'll go inside and then we'll have a look at what we're looking at. So, if we look on our diagnostic machine here, we've got a PO42F0027 EGR stuck closed. So it had a DPF blocked uh, that was driven for a couple of years. Now the DPF's fixed. It's then flagged up this fault here because obviously the vehicle's now woken up. It's tried to do, tried to open the EGR valve and it, it realized it's stuck. So we're gonna get that replaced. So I've already removed the airbox, which is pretty simple. That's just, it just pulls out. So you just remove the top of the airbox, disconnect the airflow meter, that pulls out. And then you can pull the second bottom half of that out as well. And the EGR valve is located just right here. So from looking at it, it looks like the first thing I'm going to want to do is remove the 8mm bolt here from the, the oil dipstick. Just get that open. Pull the dipstick out of the way. Get that bolt out now. It's loose, so that will allow us just to move the dipstick a little bit, give a bit of flex on it. Get the plug taken off of the EGR valve itself. There, now this wiring loom is a bit stiff. I don't know if we can get some, if we get some sort of movement on this, it's gonna help. So I'm gonna use a little trim tool here to just remove the harness from these little plastic clips. Now just down there we've got a hose clip that runs a coolant pipe attached to the EGR valve itself there. I'm just going to get that open. Now I can just disconnect this. We're going to lose a bit of coolant from it. So now just here we have a 10 millimeter bolt. Get that socket on there and we get that open. So now we've got that loose there, just going to undo it by hand. So now just under that we can see there we have another one of those 10mm bolts. It's on the opposite side. Just opening that up. And that's that bolt there again. Now that should allow us to just remove that little bracket. There, two bolts on it, one at the top, one at the bottom. Now behind that bracket, in the exact same place, we have two more bolts. These look like 13 millimeters. So I've opened the 13 millimeter bolts with the spanner. Now just taking it out by hand. So you can see that's where the little bracket there clamps onto the top end of that. And again, underneath we have the second bolt, same place, like I showed you on the bracket. So just over here, on this bracket here where it closes to the intake manifold, you got two little eight millimeter bolts. So, and then at the bottom here we got another one again, same little 8mm bolt. So now we've disconnected this coolant hose here from the other side, so you've got one in, one out, basically. And we have now disconnected the EGR. So that's where it bolted into the intake manifold, two bolts, one either side. You've got the two bolts there, one, two, you can just see there where it's blocked up. And you've got an it coolant pipe inlet and outlet down the bottom. Okay so I've got the new EGR valve here and you can see that it doesn't come with the flexi pipe so we're gonna have to disconnect that flexi pipe from the old unit here and we'll get it swapped onto this one. So that's it we've got those two bolts out and we'll just transfer that directly over here to this one and get it fitted on. So now the new pipe's on we'll just give that a little bit of a spray up some brake cleaner get rid of some of the crap off it. Okay, so we've got the new EGR valve down in the engine bay here. I've connected up the bottom hose first, just so it's going to make it easier. Now we've got the bottom hose lined up. We need to get our gasket, just give it a clean up and make sure that it fits back in between where it goes there. Okay, so we've got those bolts now aligned up. Now, I will say that it was a bit of a pain in the arse to try and get both bolts and the gasket lined up. 
but getting the the bolt in through the through the gasket and through the the EGR valve at the same time it's a bit of a bit of a pain to try and get it to line up and put the bolts in at the same time so now I'm just putting back in the eight millimeter bolts that go into the intake manifold here so that's it now we plug back in the electrical plug move back over the oil dipstick there get back the other coolant pipe there put that back on the top and get the clamp clamp it on okay because we lost a bit of coolant we're gonna get that topped up I'm just gonna fill that a little bit over full because it's gonna drink some of it back down okay so now I've got that full up I'm gonna come back in the van we're gonna clear that fall code there Now I'm going to use a pedal depressor to hold the revs up. I'm just going to hold the revs there. Now we can see that the EGR valve fault has gone, but we've got one there for a glow plug on cylinder 3. Again, that would be done on a separate video if the customer wants to get that done. So again, we'll just do a rescan, confirm that the EGR fault has gone. We've got glow plug cylinder 3. I'm going to keep the engine running until it gets warm. Make sure that the coolant isn't dropping too low. bubbles come up like that wait until the bubbles stop and then we can put the cap back on and there you see it just dropped down okay we take out the pedal depressor that's the one I'm using there from laser now engine management light is gone we've already cleaned these DPF on this on a separate video so it's all good now ready to go it's going to need the glow plugs doing at a separate time. Uh, from my experience, um, it doesn't affect the DPF or the running of the vehicle. Not straight away. What I do believe the glow plugs will do over a long period of time is they'll create a little bit of extra soot, which can block the vaporizer. So it is recommended to get the glow plugs done if 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 they are if they are. Um, not working. I do get a lot of people saying, oh, I've had my glow plugs on these four transits. Hasn't been working for years and it doesn't give me any problems. But in my experience, I do, I do think it does sort of shorten the life of the, the vaporizer on the DPF. So just have one last look over everything. Now that it's been revving for a while, make sure that none of these pipes are leaking. So that's it on the four transit EGR valve replacement. They're all done. See you in the next video.